Hello and welcome to the OData screencast series. My name is Dirty Balashi and in this episode I'm going to show you how you can publish your data behind your ASP.NET website to virtually any client over the web via a standard protocol called OData. So first let's just create a new ASP.NET website with Visual Studio 2010. I'm going to select c -sharp as the language and .NET Framework version 4.0 because it has better support for OData. This is my website and for just the demo purposes I assume that you already built your website and that website is working and using and managing the Northwind sample database. Our goal is to publish this database via other clients over the web with the OData protocol. .NET Framework 4.0 supports OData out of the box via the WCF data services, which works extremely well with Entity Framework. So first, let's just add a new item to our solution with the type of ADO.NET Entity Data Model. In this data model, which uh, is uh, recommended to be put in the app code folder, so in this data model, we configure which data we would like to publish to our client. Visual Studio supports generating the data model from a database, which is an absolutely perfect option for us for now. And the next step is to select which database we would like to publish. I already pre-configured the Northwind connection string, so I just select it. And all I have to do is select which tables, views, or stored procedures I would like to include into my data model. Let's select the categories and the products table and when I click finish Visual Studio will load the entity data model designer with the two of my entities. Here it is, the categories and the products. Let's build it. So if you follow these steps I did here then you have now a new data model just uh, for OData. If you have a website that already uses and utilizes Entity Framework, then you can just point your WCF data services, which I'm just going to create, to your already existing Entity Framework data model. So this is my data model, and let's publish it. Let's add a new item to this website with the type of WCF data service and call it odata.svc. Here it is. The to-do comments in the generated class template shows where you have to customize this class in order to make it fully functional. The first step is to perfectly define your base class. The base class is a generic base class called data service which resides in a system data services namespace. The template class you have to set here is exactly the same class the Entity Framework Data Model Designer has just generated for you. So let's select the Northwind model and the Northwind entities, which is the default naming convention used by the Entity Data Designer and Data Model Designer in Visual Studio. So here is the base class. The next step is to configure the initialize service method which is a perfect place to set your access rules. If you have only entities, which I do have now in your data model, then all you have to do is to uncomment this line and set which of your entities you would like to publish and which uh, operation you would like to allow for your clients. So let's just type an asterisk here to indicate I would like to publish both of my products and my categories data and uh, define or read as the permissions so my users, my clients can access all my data in these tables in my data model but only for reading and writing is not permitted. The next line is for you if you have uh, service operations in your data model, which I don't have now, so I just skip it, but save it and build it. It built fine, so it's absolutely ready. Let's see it in a browser. Browse with Internet Explorer, which is a perfect solution to test your uh, OData service. Here it is. 
as you can see in the root of your uh, service URL, you can see the categories and the product entities. Let's try it and drill down. Let's list all the products. Here they are. Tons of products in the Northwind database. Let's select the first one. It works well. So first, if, if we already have the first uh, product, then let's just test our connections. Uh, type a forward slash, then categories. Here is our connection. And let's just uh, select a property of an other entity. So here we are selecting a product, then go from the product to the category table and select the property called category name from that entity. So a few basic steps and you can publish your data via OData service, via OData protocol to your clients. Please do not create black holes on the internet, instead just create websites that not just, not just collect data but also shares them uh, to other clients. Thanks for watching. See you next time.